Welcome everyone, back to another tutorial by Bomb Trace. Now, before, in the last tutorial, we learned to sketch out over an object and do it all basically by hand. That's learning very basic sketching tools. Now, there is some tricks to this. We can actually import an SVG file that will already have the outline relatively how we want it for more complex designs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you today is how to grab an image online, import that into Inkscape, which is a free tool to use. We're going to trace that and then we're going to import it into fusion 360 so that you will already have your sketch without having to do it by hand except for maybe some minor adjustments so let's get that going so before we start we want to make sure we grab our files that we want i have a friend that lives in oregon she wants an oregon state outline giants logo on top of it and while this is relatively easy to trace out by hand we can do this much quicker with an svg conversion so the files for these will be linked down below in the description Go ahead and grab those, download those if you want to follow along, or grab whatever files you want. Second thing you're going to need is Inkscape. Got a, you have the download. It's free to download. Link will be in the description as well. And open up link Inkscape. We're going to import. I'm just going to start with the San Francisco logo. Just click OK. I, I relatively like it in the middle. It doesn't really matter. We're just tracing it. So I'm going to put it in the middle. Make sure you have it selected. We're going to go up to Path. You're going to drop down to trace bitmap, and there's multiple ways you can do this, okay? Uh, you might see a blank screen, so you can hit update, and it'll go from there. If you still see a blank screen after hitting update, that means you did not select your file. Now, you can change this up a bit if you wanted to. If you want to go colors, update, it'll trace all the colors, grays, update, it'll do all that. Um, the biggest thing that we want is we really just want the edges. Um, I don't even need two edges. If you grabbed a San Francisco that was just one solid, it's fine because we can offset the out the outside if we wanted to but we're going to see how this looks we're going to go edge detection i'm going to hit okay i'm going to close that now you can't really see anything here if you pulled this away you'd see exactly what we just did which works out so it doesn't really matter just know that it already happened if you're not sure just pull it away drag the image we're going to come up here to file we're going to save as and we're going to save this as a plain svg make sure you get the plane not the escape the plane i'm going to go San Francisco Edge, hit OK. Now that we have the San Francisco SVG made, we're going to make the Oregon SVG real quick. I'm going to remove these real quick. Just deleting. We're going to import the Oregon one, hit OK. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. Holding Shift, no, no. holding Control, excuse me. And same thing, Path. Trace bitmap, and we're gonna use edge detection. We're gonna see how it looks. I'm gonna hit OK. Close that file. Save as Oregon State. Hit OK. And we're basically done with Inkscape there. And now that we're back in Fusion 360, if you didn't have a blank space, go ahead and hit File New. Save your old designs, whatever you need to do. And we're in the home spot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch real quick. Um, because I know what I want, I know what bed size I'm gonna need. I'm going to Create a new sketch, start it. Now you don't have to do this to import the SVG. This is just something I'm gonna do because I know my bed size that I want. It's basically 230 by 230, so the image isn't gonna be too big or too small. Now that we have this mapped out, this is the size that I'm gonna need the state. This is the size I'm gonna need everything. It's what I measured, we're gonna be ready to go. So I'm gonna come up here to the insert function. We're gonna insert SVG. We're going to find the SVG. We're going to do the Oregon one first because I need that outline so I know how what size I need. So the cool thing is here we can scale it, we can move it, and I can't have it any wider than this box. Now, again, this could be any size that you want to do. It's up to you. This is the size I'm making because this is how I'm going to print it later. So one of the good things that you always want to do is kind of map out your sizing beforehand. I know I can't really have it much bigger than this, but it's going to work out. So. That's there. I'm going to hit OK. And that literally has all that sketch in there now. We have the organ outline. Now, it did add some extra things in here. If you want to delete them, feel free. You can hit the trim feature, cut them out. It's not really going to bother me because I can use the inside line. And it's going to be exactly what I need to do. So it works out. Now, again, the reason why I put the organ one in first is I want the San Francisco inside of it as well. So now we're going to do the exact same thing. Insert. SVG, we're going to go to the San Francisco logo, which we use the edge. 
I'm going to move it somewhat relatively here. Zoom out. And look at all those extra lines. Edged out good. I'm just going to relatively place this in the middle of wherever the heck you want to think about it. I'm going to size it about there. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to finish sketch. This might take a second because sometimes there's a lot of extra lines. And you now have a full state outline, San Francisco logo, everything like that. And it took you just a couple minutes to do, converting from one JPEG that you liked into the lines. Now, there are some extra lines in here that we either would like or not like. You can come in here and remove them if you wanted to. Um, you can edit the image again. This is one of the cool things about this is their actual lines. So if I wanted to offset this a different line, I can click anywhere in here, offset it, and it treats it just like it was a normal sketch. I can trim it up, I can delete lines, I can adjust lines, anything. But that's our sketch. And from there, just like in part three of the last tutorial, is you can extrude these out and make them a 3D object. So I'm just gonna hit extrude real quick, just make it five millimeters. San Francisco logo, 3D, done. And that's it. And just like that, in a couple minutes, we had a couple sketch outlines. We didn't have to do anything by hand for the most part. We can adjust and change those sketchable items any way we want. We can offset them, we can delete them, we can put any kind of curve to them that we wanted to. But instead of you having to manually make that map or manually make that logo, you now have a way to import that in yourself and have the trace line already be there and start converting it into a 3D object. Saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of effort. But with the last tutorials, hopefully that can mix and match those two unique processes and make some items that you want to see for yourself. Hopefully you learned something. If you like that, make sure you hit like, hit the bell, see where um, my next tutorial will come from, share it with your friends. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Thanks.